what happens if you have a pump system and the power goes out? Am I still going to be able to use my facilities if the power goes out? And that's a great question because, right, it's real basic. That pump needs electricity to run. If the power goes out, there's no electricity to run the pump. Now, what, what's going to happen? Well, typically, an engineered system is going to be designed where uh, you have uh, a little bit of wiggle room. So, typically, the, where the, the, the pump is going to be set near the bottom of the tank so that you've got, let's, let's, let's make it real simple. Our tank is this deep, okay, from top to bottom in the pump chamber where the pump is located. The pump is down here at the bottom. So as water gets used in the house, it's going to push that same amount of water from our septic tank into the pump chamber. And as the, the water fills up in the pump chamber, somewhere maybe about a third of the way up, it's going to tell the pump to kick on and that water is going to get pumped down and then the pump is told to, to turn off and so that water level in the tank is going to go up or in the pump chamber is going to go up and down you know in the middle part of the tank and down so we've got all this extra room if we did have a situation where either the pump fails and does, isn't turning on for some reason or there's a power outage and there's no electricity for the pump to turn on you're going to typically have somewhere between three to 500 gallons of extra space in your pump chamber before you're going to start having to worry about having a backup in the house. So if you do have an issue where the power goes out, um, it's not, a, not going to be a situation where, oh, I just can't run any water. I mean, a lot of the times if you are on a septic system, you're also going to be on a well. So you're not going to have any water there either, but you you will be able to have drainage, and especially if if you are um, in a situation where you may have uh, city water and but you but you have a, a private septic system, uh, you're you're going to be fine to go ahead and keep using that water, but you're going to want to be real conscious of it, right? So. I would avoid doing anything that's using a large amount of water. I would hold off on doing any laundry, hold off on dishwasher, um, those type of things. Um, take quick showers, uh, and then you know limit limit um, any other water that gets used. But you're certainly okay to use the you know flush the toilet, um, use your facilities, um, and just try to use it on a minim as as minimally as you can. Um, because, again, if you have a prolonged outage, uh, you at some point you're going to run out of space. But with three, you know, if you have 300 plus gallons of water to use, that's a lot of toilets being flushed. That's uh, you can definitely get away with some quick showers and that kind of thing. So, um, you know, most power outages can be out for a day or two. Um, you're going to be okay as long as you just. Be conscious of your water. You're not not going overboard with it. Try to hold off on the laundry, um, any other large um, water use items, and uh, and you'll be able to get get by. So, typically, we are set up to uh, be able to handle that.